which is the Asanara National Park on a small island off the north of Sardinia. The centre invites tourists to visit, learn more about the marine life and see the work being done to rehabilitate injured sea turtles in the area. Buongiorno a tutti, signori. Buongiorno. Ogni anno in Mediterraneo abbiamo circa 120.000 esemplari che sono catturati in modo accidentale. La pesca determina il maggior numero di catture accidentali, quindi il trappolamento nelle reti, l'ingestione accidentale degli ami o plastica. This one right here is called Merak. She is a specimen of around 15 to 20 years old. She was literally struck by the propeller of a boat. The wound completely healed. We're going to be able to release her back to the sea. This specimen right here is called Valentino. He was found entangled in a plastic bag. Right here we have Nikita, and she's only around two years old. You see her very, very weak. She doesn't move around a lot. And for this reason, we suspect that she might have a neurological problem problem that might have been caused by an entrapment in a net. So, as you can see, they're all been victim of human activity. Humans create many, many threats for animal life and the ecosystem itself, especially fishing, intensive fishing that with very big and invasive equipment, plastic pollution and sea traffic, creating the danger of accidents and menomation for sea turtles. L'obiettivo più importante è ridurre il numero di catture accidentali sperimentando insieme pescherecci nuovi sistemi di eh, cattura. Across all its locations, Cramer have encouraged over 1300 fishermen to use circular hooks, runs, as well as to use collapsible fish pots to replace nets in order to help protect sea turtles from incidental catching. Many other aquatic species face the threat of being wiped out from the area, one of which is red lobsters. Kramer have started a separate project to help regenerate their populations around Asanara. The old mentality of fishermen was of course to fish as much as possible, which has driven the species basically to extinction in many areas around the island. To counter this problem, the park pays some fishermen to participate. They give us back the uh, red lobsters that are fish that are too small. Come è andata oggi? Insomma, 20. 20? Va bene. Specimens that are under a certain length and weight, they are too small and too young to reproduce. And we bring them here to our center. We take all the biometric data, so the length, the weight of each specimen, and afterwards we mark them all before releasing them in the marine protected area. Given the time that we live in right now, given all the problems that we are creating, we need to step up and be the solution.